I'm Matt Vanacoro, and I am really excited to help you bring your keynote presentations to the next level. I'm going to be talking about creating production-ready presentations. This isn't just about presentations that look great. It's about presentations that work great. Presentations that serve their purpose, that get the information out there to people, the information that you want out there, keeps their attention, and leaves them wanting more, wishing that the presentation was a little longer. The last thing you want is people watching your presentation half asleep. You want them to absorb this information. So we're going to talk about the presenter display, using remotes to be able to view information as you're giving your presentation, be able to see that information, have it at your fingertips, and let it unfold in front of you. We'll also talk about Keynote Live, presenting to people over the internet all at once, working with objects, slides, arranging and skipping slides, and we'll even dabble into some of the magic transitions and magic charts. So there's a lot to do in Keynote beyond just making simple presentations. Hopefully by now you have a good grasp on Keynote. You have the ability to open up the slides, work with them, add new slides, align them, uh, work with objects and make some simple transitions. If you've got that on your belt, we'll take it from here. I'm going to take you a lot further. We're going to jump in and talk about the slideshow soundtrack, autoplay, how to shrink down your file size. And remember, doing that is important, not just for the sake of emailing it, but for the sake of reliability. Because a good presentation is one that's absolutely not going to crash on you while you're in the middle presenting it. We'll talk about some of the newest features Apple's added into Keynote, things that have made it really great to work with across iOS devices and to work with right on your Mac. So there's a lot to dive into here. I'm excited. Let's get going.